And one person I give credit to in my family for raising me is my grandfather. My grandfather was one of those people, he put all of our family through college with an eighth grade education. He worked every single day. And my grandfather was one of them dudes that could meet you, and the moment he meets you, he could tell you exactly what your problem was. <laughs> but if he couldn't figure it out within the first five minutes, he would sum it up to the fact that you was on that shit. <laughs> now, we don't know what on that shit is, but if he couldn't figure you out, you was on it. And I used to love to sit here and watch him sit in his little chair and talk. Because when you're 85 years old, you don't need nobody to talk back to you. You just talk. And he was sitting there and talk about me. <laughs> and he always had a confused look on his face. He was always confused for the last 10 years of his life. You know, I want to thank y'all for coming to listen to this boy talk. Because up until today, ain't nobody never wanted to hear shit David Arnold had to say. Because he ain't never been talking about nothing, you understand? See, what you need to understand about David Arnold is that this boy is lazy. He lazy. And if he got to walk more than two feet for a piece of bread, he gonna starve. And that's where you gonna find him dead. Laying six inches from a piece of toast, cause he's lazy. And I, 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 I don't know where he get all this laziness from, you understand me? I'm 79 years old. I've been working since I was nine. I come up in the coal mines of West Virginia, you see what I'm saying? We had to get up, you got up every day. And you walk two, three hours to work, you work nine, ten hours, you walk nine, ten hours home. That's what you did every day. <laughs> what no days off. I remember I was in the, uh, 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 I'm in that coal mine and that, that boy wasn't paying attention, let, let that cart go. The goddamn thing cut, cut them four toes off. But I didn't stop working. You pick the toes up, you put them in a the bag, and you finish on with the day. <laughs> See, I knew David Arnold was gonna have a hard way to go when he come up in this world. Cause I'll never forget, see me and his mama, me and his grandmama had to go down there and claim it. Cause you know, he didn't have no daddy, see? Cause his mama mess around and got pregnant by one of them old Skip Do niggas. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> skip Do. That's what it is. That's a nigga that do what he do, then he skip on. You see? <laughs> and I, I, I walk up in the hospital room with my wife, and I never forget. I said, Anime. <laughs> I said, Anime, look at this boy here. He is lazy. He ain't been in the world two hours and already he's sleep, just lazy. I don't know where he gets all this sleeping from. I'm 82 years old and I have been working since I was five. You understand me? And the thing about it is, the thing about it is, see, I, 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 I had an asphalt company up, up, up there in Cleveland, Ohio, and, and I tried to give the boy a job so he could put some money in his pocket, you understand? So I come up around the corner one day, and, and he up under the shade tree up in there, just sleep, just out like that. <laughs> now, I didn't want to wake him up. So I went over there, and I quietly took a pen and paper, and I wrote a note and put it in his hand. <laughs> and the note said, as long as you sleep, you got a job. But when you wake up, God damn it, you fired. Okay? <laughs> Joshua Woody, y'all give him a round of applause. That's my damn fault. <laughs>